Hi and welcome to another edition of Onside SA, the soccer show that tells you what's going on week in and week out. I'm here with Budgie and Budge will open up again with last one standing as yeah. we normally do. Uh, week six that they dropped from to, from 57 to 48 yeah, and uh, this midweek is week seven and uh, we've already had casualties. But, oh. uh, Let's look at them. Brighton, Chelsea and Leeds sent a few. So at this stage, there's only 10 people through, through but yeah. carried through. A nine on Newcastle, one on Southampton. Yeah, Who's Southampton. that mug? What? Who's Our that initial mug? initial sponsor, Dave Goss. Do Dick Goss, eh? Yeah, Dick's... Okay, so at this stage, there's 10 through of the 48. But the pick of the week? Has to be Robbie Burns. Break. Break. Well, he's had two of the best three picks we've ever had. He yeah. found Brentford. No, yeah, Brentford, yeah. Fantastic. Well done, it breaks. Robbie Burns found that. Now, Aston Villa had six entries. These are the people who went through. Mark Wainstein went with two, two picks, yeah. Is he Larry's son? Yeah. Oh, well done, Tim. Sue Miller, one of yes, two women left. Yeah. Hassan Moore, a guy who's always up there. Yeah. Skip, Ernie Wallace. Yeah. And Sawa Khan. Khan. I don't he's know seven. him. Yeah, it's been in from the beginning, so Wolves, good pick. Tennille Werners, Lawrence's daughter. Jimbo Goofman, <laughs> well done. And Tay Statler. Now there are nine hanging on Newcastle today. Newcastle go to Everton. Everton away, yeah. Yeah. Francois Dumy, guys up there a lot. Craig Ferree, Mark Curry, guy who was going well in two yeah, rounds. He was, yeah, Chelsea he was, and he was, Yeah, he was going well. Colin McCabe, Michael Jackson, the singer. <laughs> Shogun Phillips. Yeah, Sean, 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 in, yeah. He's a previous winner. Yeah. Gary Grant, the actor. <laughs> Kevin Power, the dart player. <laughs> Kevin, remember uh, the rugby in England? We had a beer yeah, with him that's at, right. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, Andrew from Boston, Andre from Boston. Yeah. Southampton, Dick Goss. Well, Dick, everything of the best, pal. It's a tough call. They did manage to hold Arsenal, but then Arsenal haven't won in four. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about the Premiership results. Where is Stevie B? Is oh, he about? Steve, uh, are you there? I'm here. Good morning. Good morning, morning, Steve. Stephen. Uh, we just ran through a few. Yeah, our Premiership. Uh, I watched the Wolves Palace game. Obviously, there were uh, you know tickets on them. A good game, Paul. You know, yeah. it's not nothing better than scoring early. They got a bit of lucky with the goal, but the, uh, it was a good the, game. The second goal they were second lucky. Goal the keeper's the first touch. Sam Johnson. She yeah. should have got sent off. Should have got. Opinion. It was over the top. Yeah. 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 Three boys went through. Aston Villa, Fulham. Steve, I didn't watch much of it. How well, did it go? <laughs> as well no, it, was a, it was a shocking game Villa started really well I mean you could see why the top of the form guide with City scored scored and you just thought this is going to be a hat ball but actually as the game wore on um, we looked a bit more solid at the back and Villa just sort of decided I think the you know they were ahead and they were just going to shut up shop and we found it very difficult to break through yeah. so it was uh, it was as probably one of the worst games to watch Thank goodness I never watched that. And Leeds Leicester, I watched the last 15 minutes. That could have gone either yeah. way. Bamford, yeah. the chance he missed. Yeah. And uh, apparently he was yeah, slagging off the previous manager. I oh, heard uh, Sherwood have a go at him afterwards. That Leeds United. Sherwood had a go at him. What, he was there having to go to America? The guy that got, yeah, that got fired and flicked on. Back post, couldn't miss and he missed. But, you know, Vardy should have scored. He was offside. Terrible. Yeah. The guy should have shot. But uh, at the end it was ding-dong. But uh, one all, you know. Tough I was watching well, mainly the it was, a, it was a result, really, that neither of them wanted because, uh, you know, the, they, it keeps them both down there. But as you say, that Bamford miss was shocking. Yeah. He was obviously upset with the previous manager because he didn't pick him. Uh, yeah. even, you know, but he was, you know, he's been injured half the season. So, but, you know, I, I know he's a bit rusty, but that was a shocking miss. I mean, yeah. he just had the, two yards out, he just had to touch the ball in. Yeah, I wonder um, if the manager... that, could, that could cost leads. That could certainly cost leads. Definitely. I wonder if the manager will pick him this week yeah, after that right. chance. Other games, Steve, I watched a lot of the Notts Forest and Brighton. Crikey, Moses. You know, Brighton, they're unlucky in the, the semi final against United. She's a they should have been three or four up, but, uh, you know, ended up getting beat 3 1. And great result for Forest. Brighton, yeah, still in I the think... top four mix, but it's going to be a lot harder now. Do you know, I was listening yeah, to Steve. I think, I, I think for Brighton, it was a little bit of, uh, you know, a hangover from Sunday. Yeah, yeah. He just sort of felt, he, he rested one or two. But ultimately, as you say, I saw some of that game and, yeah. you know, they really had chances. But, you know, Forrest rode their luck and, and in yeah. the end came through. Huge result for them because I think a lot of people were thinking, you know, lose that and they, they're definitely, you know, 11 games without a win beforehand. Mm. And, uh, you know, Brighton with their games in hand, but, you know, they've got, 
I think it's quite tough for them. They've got a lot of fixtures coming up, and I think I don't, I can't see Brighton getting into that top four, but they're still good for a European place. Do you know, Steve, I was listening to the commentator. You know, bear in mind, not in the forest, they had a penalty saved as yeah. well. They, 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 they played, but I was watching the Chelsea game. The commentator said, is it Mudrick, the, the yeah. winger? The second fastest time f- timed of a football in the Premier League this year was Mudrick. Second fastest. Guess who's the fastest? Oh, wouldn't know. Nottingham Forest. Who is it? Oh, that... Uh, What's his the guy up front. Yes, the guy up front. Get... Brendan Johnson. Yeah. Johnson. Johnson, yeah. Fastest timed player in the whole league is Johnson in Madrid. I thought it might have been the big <laughs> Langostine at Man City. No, no, he's no. a bit too sluggish. Mm-hmm. Well, I think he gets going. I think he gets going. Like Johnson and Johnson. So yeah. uh, that was interesting fact. Johnson's okay. the quickest player in the league, the sure, commentator okay. was saying. Well, they're going to need him this week. Uh, yeah. West Ham won Liverpool too, Steve. I watched... Penalty. Obviously, when the game's on, how oh, they never gave the penalty, you know, Moyes was yeah, going berserk. Yeah, that was a strange decision. It, you can see, and in fact, it's the ref, it, that was Chris Cadford, the three that uh, sent Mitrovic off. Uh, and, and we were, and part of the reason why Silva was upset with him is because he didn't give uh, handball against two West Ham players when we lost over there before. So he's obviously he has a problem with, 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 with seeing handball, Chris Kavanagh. But uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate. But again, from what I saw, and I've seen the highlights this morning, Liverpool had a lot of chances. Uh, and yeah, uh, right. ultimately, that's probably the right result. Now, West Ham scored one all. They got disallowed. You know, I just turned over with, with the Forest Close. game after they scored. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, then, Bowen, yeah. Bowen. Bowen, yeah. Uh, Game I didn't watch, thankfully. I know Paul's not too impressed with the result. Chelsea 0, Brentford 2. I watched it. No, I, I just saw highlights and it sounded, again, you know, the fans were really upset. You know, he's, it's, you think they've got nothing to have a go and he, 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 dropped, he, he has players on the bench who can score yeah. goals and he started with Sterling on his front, uh, up front against a huge uh, Brentford defence. It's, yeah. uh, you know, lot. You, know, you just wonder whether or not Lampard will even last the season out. You know, yeah. he's lost all five games that he's come. It really isn't doing his reputation any good. Uh, and it's the, the fans are screaming for Pochettino, which I understand is very close now. You know, Steve, I watched the whole game. And I had them in my last one standing. And I watched and I thought, OK, they, they started playing a bit of decent football, yeah. kept the ball. The Croatia in the midfield was looking good. Brentford defended very strongly. They had so many people, me and the tall guy next to him, and just players around them. I cannot think in that whole game of more than one shot from Chelsea. Yeah. More than one. They, it was woeful. It was absolutely... It's all good and well yeah. keeping the ball on the halfway line, knock it square, yeah. going nowhere. Uh, Chelsea yeah. have got problems. Whoever's in charge. Yeah, I think they've got to get Pochettino in now. Get now. rid of him. Because the fans are going to turn on Lampard and... Yeah. A good mate of ours, Garth White, had colours to most people. Uh, he's a Chelsea diehard and he just couldn't believe it. He's, and I, I saw the team, I, couldn't, I was trying to work out if I knew all the players. Yeah. Uh, say Sterling cool. up front on his own. And, yeah. uh, Man City 4, Arsenal 1, Steve. Uh, Miss uh, um, uh, what, what a performance. I mean, it was an absolute masterclass, uh, particularly from De Bruyne and Haaland. Uh, you know, Whatever game plan that Arteta had was completely out the window the way that City played. I mean, normally you're, you're, you're used to seeing De Bruyne put Haaland in, but it was the other way around in yeah. the first half, and they couldn't cope. You know, De Bruyne making that run ahead of Haaland, and you know the amount of chances that they created in the first half particularly, they could have been four or five up, and it wouldn't have been undeserved. Uh, and you just sort of felt... It was coming. Those, you know, Arteta was saying, well, you know, it's not the game that's going to define the season. No, right. it was the three games before where they dropped points. Yeah. But I think that that was it now. You can't, you just find it hard to believe that City will blow up from this position. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, Arsenal have blown up. Yeah, and, uh, awesome. yeah, no, I agree with you, Steve. You concede three to Southampton. You know, the 2-2 draw at Anfield was a good result. You know, yeah. Liverpool yeah. at Anfield don't get beat, even though you tunnel up. But you look who they're conceding to. <laughs> And, awesome. uh, so you know, they're too. woeful and I think they're in trouble against Chelsea, even though Chelsea are struggling. Steve, few games tonight, massive game. Yeah. Everton, Newcastle. How do you see it going? Yeah, I mean, look, it, it's huge for both. I mean, obviously, with Forest is winning, uh, Everton are in real, real trouble. They can't yeah. afford to uh, to lose that. But Newcastle, you know, are going to be cock-a-hoop after that uh, performance at, at the weekend. You know, Newcastle want to consolidate uh, their, their position in the top four. So, you know, I, I can't see Everton winning somehow. I think Newcastle are playing with so much confidence. And uh, I think Everton can't afford to lose. But if they do, they really are in trouble. So I can see it being close. Like, you know, I don't think Newcastle are going to run right. 
Um, but he's got to shut up shop, Sean Dyche. He's got to stop Everton, uh, Newcastle from scoring. And I think, it, you know, for me, it could only be like one or two goals in it. It's uh, going to be a, a tough, hard game, I think, to watch. Yeah, Southampton-Bournemouth. I think this will be a good game. I watched quite a bit of Bournemouth on Sunday. They didn't play too well. Well, West Ham played great, scored from the set pieces. I fancy Southampton here. What do you think, Steve? Well, I think well they have to because they're effectively six points adrift now with uh, Forest winning. Um, you know, if if they if they don't win this, then I think that's probably that's curtains for them. Curtains if they down. do win, then if they do win, it puts them sort of right back up there, and it brings Bournemouth, you know, back into yeah. it because at the weekend, obviously, as we know, we've got Bournemouth leads, so you know, it, it's in Bournemouth's own hands. They, they get yeah. they get. Uh, you know, four or six points in the next two games, they're out of it. But if they could easily lose both, so yeah, there's a. It's pretty exciting at the bottom. Yeah, and the game, Paul and I are keen to well. watch Tottenham yeah. Man United. Quarter past, they quarter past late. late. Yeah, late start. Midnight. Yeah, how yeah. do you see that going? One one. Yeah, tough. Look, neither team can afford to lose. You know, United don't want to start uh, looking over their shoulder, which they could do. Tottenham, I mean, well, listen, you, I, we don't need me to, to, to say what Paul's thinking about that first half on Sunday. Tottenham need, need a response. You know, the fans are going to demand it. And, you know, I, they, they've seemed to play well against the bigger teams, Tottenham is. Sometimes against the smaller teams, they come unstuck. I think this will be a close game. I think there'll be goals. I don't think either defence uh, are going to hold out. Just wonder whether or not, as Brighton did last night, whether there's still a bit of a, a hangover from the... Uh, you know, from the semi final yeah. on Sunday. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, it, it. We've got that game on, obviously, here. We've got every game on this week. Oh. Um, and I, but I've, I've sort of fancy goals, I mean, like 2 2 even. Yeah, it's only think United have an extra day, which Brighton didn't have. Question for Paul The latest on Spurs' managerial search. Is there any news? Are you just going to run it through? Did they go, uh, the, the, the name's in the hat from the latest, and it keeps changing. Yeah. No Is doubt. it Nagel? What? What's yeah, it, you know? Nagel, yeah. He's uh, the, the, the boy from Germany. Uh, again, there's talk of uh, the, the fired Leicester boss. You know, oh, yeah, Brendan Rodgers. Brendan yeah. Rodgers. You know, when you go back and look at his CV. Oh, his CV's not too bad. Yeah, look at his CV. He brought Cardiff out the first world team to yeah, come back in. Yeah. He won the FA Cup with Leicester. From the League you Cup, know, I think it's uh, Swansea. He, yeah, he's, he's, he's won a runner up yeah. with Liverpool. Nice. He's, he's done a few things. So yeah. he's, there's people fighting his case. But I, I, as I said, yeah, I haven't a clue. It yeah. won't be Mason. Would you love him? No. Mason seems to think he's got a chance. Got no chance. No, no chance. What about my boy Harry Potter? Who? <laughs> Graham Potter. Still, he should have been. He should have got know, the job. I, I, I really don't know who's going to yeah. get it. You know, at this stage, we don't know. Levy, did you watch? Steve, did you watch Levy's interview at the uh, Cambridge Union? No, no. It's but but the, interesting, good. you know, obviously there was a lot of push for Dagelsman, but when you look at his CV, he hasn't got a huge amount of experience. No, no, and obviously no. none in the Premier League. And that's, it is a little bit of a gamble. It's not like, you know, Conte, for example, or Mourinho, you know, who've got years of experience. Yeah. So, you know, I think that there, there is a... And it's interesting that he, you know, he blew out from the Chelsea job because there was talk about him going there, but... You know, they, they weren't interested in the end. But uh, I don't know. You know, Graham Potter maybe. It could be an interesting call. But yeah. uh, well, well, you know, well, they're well, not going to rush. I mean, obviously, they've got rid of Stellini now. They've got, but they've got to do something at the beginning of the summer because obviously you need a new new manager in to, you know, to, to get his vision and to get the right players in. Yeah. So who is, who's going to be the assistant to Mason? Because we fired the boss. Haven't you got your old centre-half uh, uh, We fired the boss. We got his assistant. Yeah. We fired the assistant. We got his assistant. <laughs> so the next guy's got to be Mason's assistant. Was it, was it the big centre half? He had, and he had one knee. Oh, uh, Ledley King. Ledley King, yeah. Ledley was King, yeah. No, yeah. he'd never take that. One all tonight, Steve. Desperate affair. Anyway, we go on to the weekend uh, lunchtime kickoff, London Derby, Crystal Palace, West Ham. Steve, how do you see it? Yeah, look, West Ham have, I mean, obviously they came unstuck last night, but they, yeah. they, they've been playing very well. Uh, Palace slipped up. That wasn't a particularly good performance at Wolves. Yeah. Uh, I, I think West Ham will be happy enough to get a point there because I think they're just starting to pull away slowly. But, you know, they wouldn't want to lose because they still could get sucked into it. So yeah, yeah. Um, I think Palace, Palace will maybe just start as favourites, but I think West Ham will get something. Yeah, so do I. You know, Palace, although a little bit unlucky, the goal they conceded was was terrible yeah. one, especially earlier away from home. They've got, uh, got a couple of good players. Who's that? 
Palace. Palace. I like a couple that. Of youngsters. That Eze, 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 yeah, would have, yeah. He's a good player. I yeah. just think the middle of park, West Ham, and have a little bit too much. Mm. 17 at 10, I thought was a good price, but win and draw would be my play there. Brentford, Notts Forest. Steve, is this the banker of the weekend? You can't be Brentford there. Well, you say that, but obviously Forest, have, you know, with their first win uh, after 11 uh, winless games, they're going to be uh, sort of fairly confident that they could get something. Yeah. They picked up more injuries. I mean, you know, talk about injury prone. There are for various reasons. They said there were 14 players potentially unavailable. Uh, you know, just as well they they, they brought in 30, <laughs> 30 and they odd, yeah. two windows. But uh, I think Brentford will start as favourites. I think again they hadn't won in a few, but they'll be they'll be pleased with that. Again, you know, Forest will be scrapping away to try and get something. They played well in patches at Liverpool, to be fair to them, and obviously then dug in deep last night. And so, you know, I think I, I fancy Brentford, but I think if, if it is, it's only going to be by one. Uh, how many games have Brentford lost at home? Not many. Uh, two, one to Arsenal and one to no. Newcastle. No. Yeah, but yeah. Brentford, I went to that pokey little, yeah. little cupboard of a stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, hard For me, beat. they're hard to beat. It's a tiny little 16,000 seater tight track. They love yeah. it. Yeah, and they're well organised from well set organized, pieces too. Well so organised. You've got to yeah. fancy them. Forrest lost the last six away from home, so you've yeah. got to fancy Get Brentford. Get on there, Brentford, yeah. Brighton Wolves, Steve. Is this the upset of the weekend? No. Well, look, Brighton, you know, have got have got these games in hand, but that doesn't always help when, uh, you know, when they're coming thick and fast. But they're going to be, you know, they're going to be hurting still. You know, lost on, lost Sunday, lost last night. Wolves are, are playing very well. Not so much away from home, obviously. Yeah. They've got a very strong record at home. I, I think Brighton will want to bounce back, but, uh, you know, Wolves are making themselves very hard to beat. I think, again, Brighton will start as favourites, but I don't think Wolves will be a pushover. Yeah, I agree. You know, Wolves have got good midfield players, and that's what's what keeps them in the game. And the keeper hasn't really they tossed play, it in. They can play. But Brighton, Brighton, yeah. Have been Diego Costa. Yeah, Diego Costa is becoming a handful again. Yeah. But uh, as you say, you know, sometimes that team are lucky against United. They should have won last night. Sometimes yeah. this season you have a couple of bad results. Yeah. And uh, five to ten, too short for me. Bournemouth leads. How do you see it, Steve? <laughs> Huge game. I mean, obviously, Bournemouth are playing tonight against Southampton. Uh, Leeds will obviously have had a couple of days extra rest because they played on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, huge game for both teams. Neither can afford to lose. Uh, obviously, Leeds less so than Bournemouth because obviously they've, they've drawn one and lost three Leeds in the, before. I think whoever wins this, you know, well, certainly if Bournemouth win it, then I think they'll pull themselves out of trouble and Leeds will stay in. I think Bournemouth at home will just be a little bit too strong. They came unstuck last weekend against West Ham, yeah. and they could do against Southampton, but I think Gary O'Neill will look at this and think, we've got to win this game, and Leeds just can see goals. You know, you, yeah. They kept it a bit tighter during the week, but uh, you know, I think I think there will be goals in this game, but it, for me, it's one could go either way, but uh, I think just worry if Leeds are getting a bit desperate. That, uh, you know, they're running out of games and they're right down at the bottom there. Yeah, over two and a half, over three and a half goals. I think there's plenty of goals in that game. Fullman. Fulham Man City, Steve. Fullman, um, come on, Fullman. Can you well, score? No I, no, I don't think so. I don't think we will score. I mean, City on conceding, you know, without Mitrovic, with Willian uh, injured with a with a hamstring I, I, I can't see a scoring you know the question will be is how many we keep it down to and uh, you know I've already in one of my fantasy leagues I've got a I've got City 3-0 and I think uh, you know I think they'll score a couple of early goals City and then you know they'll they can start taking players off you know once the game's won yeah I think you've grabbed one in the second half Steve you know Man City it's amazing you talk to managers and Spurs is this again Sheffield United and Paul and I spoke about it a while ago why not play your best players, get the result and take them off, which Man City have oh, yeah. done with Haaland and De Bruyne. Yeah, Other yeah. guys play the, the lesser players and the last 20 try minutes and try and bring them on. Yeah. You know, I'd rather just start with the best team. You get three or four up, take them off. I think this is 3-4-1, Steve. Yeah. I think you'll score. Yeah. And, uh, but obviously, Man City and the way they're going. The only thing is he will yeah. make changes. Yeah. You know, Wednesday was a big game. Bring Morris yeah, back. Yeah, Tati will bring them all back. Foden, so, Morris, you know, great but, players. Uh, I think you'll um, score, Steve, exactly, but I hope yeah, so. I mean, but, uh, bringing, you know, bringing Morris on for 
silver or uh, yeah. Foden in. It's not exactly weaken them, is it? But no, uh, no. look, I think look, I'm talking to a number of my friends. They're looking forward. They want to see Harlem play. No one's seen Harlem play in the flesh, is it? Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. So um, they're going to ruin he's, 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 he's obviously odds on to get his 50th goal. Uh, I, I was joking a few weeks ago saying, yeah, he'll get his 50th goal at Fulham. Well, he's on 49. You know, mm. I think there's. Uh, Good money on, on him getting that at uh, yeah. the weekend. And, and great. You know, listen, we want to be in the Premier League. We want to see the best players in the world. Yeah. And you've got De Bruyne and Haaland and all the others coming. You know, it's it's obviously, that's what yeah, we want to do. We want, and the Fulham players want to pitch themselves 100%. and test themselves against the best. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's a free hit for us. We've got nothing to lose. You know, we might as well try and play. Yeah. The only thing is, if you try to get too open and play without fear, you just get uh, you, you, know, you, you get yeah. cut up. But I wouldn't want to see it with ten men behind the ball the whole game and not and not have a go. That yeah. seems pointless. So. Steve, uh, that tight pitch of yours, well, it looks tight from the ground, and also you take from the corner flag to the big box. It looks a lot narrower than others. I think this is more of a game. I fancy Man City, but that tight pitch gives you a chance. As long as yeah. Pauline is uh, in the game, you know there's someone to get yeah. booked. Anyway, Man United host Aston Villa, Steve Good Villa, game. second, fourth yeah, team, I think it's eight wins, two draws in the last ten, United play yeah. tonight, this could be, uh, this is a difficult game for United, how do you see it going? I think, I think so, because you know, Villa again would have had two days extra uh, yeah. rest before they play, and they've got nothing to lose, Look, Villa are you know, sitting uh, you know, fifth in the table, they at the moment, you know, they, they well, they got absolutely. You know, they're going for Europe, and the, yeah. with the way they're playing, and with Ollie Watkins uh, in form, they've got half. They've definitely got more than half a chance. And yeah, I think, yeah. you know, United uh, after a, a tough, tough game on Sunday, obviously there could be a, a tough game again tonight. Yeah, uh, depends if he, you know, how fit his squad is. Um, you know, so Bruno you know, Fernandez, if, 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 if Fernandez or, or Rashford are firing. Then they've always got a chance, but uh, and I think at home, obviously, they're not easy to beat at home. United, so yeah. you know, I, I think I think that they would at least hold Villa, but uh, you can't you can't rule out uh, the away team in this game. Yeah, you know, to a million youngsters, it's time to to play some of them. You can't keep playing Ericsson and Bruno and and Casemir in the midfield. They haven't got the legs. Yeah, we so need. it's time. You know, give McTominay, Fred. It's time we freshen the squad up. They you know they haven't let us down. They've let us down in the big games. But uh, I, for me, you've got to rotate the squad. Even tonight against Spurs, I would play the Fred and I would play McTominay if Bruno's out. I know yeah, it's a major doubtful, drop, but doubtful, uh, yeah. you know it's up front. that's my concern. But uh, no, I think this All right, is a let's, let's game. move on. We'll Newcastle, to do, yeah. Southampton, Steve. One way traffic. You think so? I mean, again, if if uh, you. Again, they're playing tonight, both playing tonight. You, you would think whatever happens, Newcastle are going to be firm favourites. Yeah. And if Southampton don't get a result against Bournemouth and they lose at St James's Park, that's it for them. You know, they would probably be at least at least six, if not more, points adrift with about four to go. So um, I think Newcastle are definitely going to want to consolidate that top four place. And, I, and the way they played last week, I think Southampton's defence just won't be able to cope. Yeah, one to three. Does look a good bit. Liverpool, Spurs. Paul, can you get a result? Take a draw. You know, our away form's woeful. Yeah. Their home form's excellent. You know, take doesn't mean brain surgeon tell you. We need to play at our best to come over the point here. Yeah. But think... Liverpool have not been the sides of yesterday. No, 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 definitely not. And no. Trent now tucking into midfield. Yesterday, West Ham have had three or four great chances yeah. to get to the Antonio yeah, Mesta one up. Corner, a runaway, man. Oh. Can't believe it. So he thinks this is a great system. If Son's out there and gets those chances, you'll yeah, score. Yeah. But at Anfield, always difficult to beat. So it has to be Liverpool. Yeah. Steve, Leicester, Everton. How do you see it? A uh, huge game. And Oof. again, Everton playing tonight. You know, if they get nothing against Newcastle, I think Leicester definitely starts as favourites. Um, they, play, they, they came back and played well against Wolves yeah. in patches they, they played very well for what I saw at Leeds I think uh, Leicester they, you know, if they've got all their best players on the pitch Madison, Tielemans you know, yeah. they, they make things happen and I just think they've got a little bit too much for me to go down I think they'll just pull themselves out of it Yeah, they shouldn't go down but this is a crucial game they don't get a result here you just yeah. never know and last but not least Tuesday oh. night Arsenal-Chelsea well, you just wonder now. I mean, 
in some respects the pressure's off Arsenal because City win uh, City win at Fulham, which they I'm sure they will. They yeah. go top, and it's like Arsenal are now playing catch up. Chelsea, as you said, have been awful, but uh, you can't see. <coughs> you know, they can frustrate. They could frustrate Arsenal. Yeah. That's the only thing. But Arsenal have got to find find a way to get a result. I mean, otherwise it could just be all over with about two or three games to go. I think Arsenal will win it, but it won't be pretty. Yeah, I've just okay. got a funny feeling Chelsea can get something off the what they did every last week, I know I've fallen for them before, but they've you know, Arsenal Chelsea, there's no love lost and I think Lampard will get bulleted during the week. Pochettino will come in and there'll be a rebound for me, but uh, hard to trust them. On to the, the championship, Steve. Uh, Sheffield United, I saw a bit of it. 2 0 last night, they beat West Brom. You know, West Brom a little bit unlucky in the first half, but uh, Burnley, Sheffield United, both through, both promoted. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Sheffield United have, have always been behind Burnley, as it were. Yeah. And at one point, it looked like Middlesbrough were going to catch them, but they fell away, and, and they yeah. just kept grinding out results. It's not been uh, not been pretty. You know, they haven't got, I don't think, a squad as strong as they had when they went up before. So, you know, I think I think that uh, unless there's money available and they strengthen, I think they'll struggle next year. But, you know, good luck to them. You know, they, they, they've been up. They, they were unlucky last year in the playoffs against uh, Forest. Yeah, they beat them penalties. And, uh, yeah. you know, they deserved, you know, they deserved uh, to go up this year. West Brom have fallen right away. It looked yeah. like with their game in hand, they could, uh, they could do it. But they've lost their last two and, and I think that's over for them now. Yeah, they're only two points outside the playoff places, but there's two games yeah, to go, so it's tricky. Only two games left. Yeah. yeah. Did, uh, just one quick question. Did Sunderland win promotion last year? Uh, from League One, wasn't it? Yes. So they're, yeah. they're just they about the playoffs. Yeah, they, can, they, they, they can get promoted again. Yeah, in the playoffs, yeah. yeah. Gee, so interesting. The, okay, uh, lovely. So There's two games to go. So, at anyway, Steve, uh, Friday night kickoff. Blackpool are struggling second bottom against Morwall. Blackpool buried me yeah. last week. I uh, buried us both. Remember, we fancied Birmingham. They yeah. won two of their last yeah. three. Morwall have gone off the boil, Steve. Could you see another upset, even though Morwall well, are desperate? I was going to say they've gone off the boil, but they have to win this Millwall. Yeah. Uh, you know they're still hanging on in there, and uh, you know. I, I, but for Blackpool, even if they win their last two games, I suspect it's not going to be enough for them. So, yeah. you know, I think it'd be a re I think it'd be a good game because both have to win. A draw doesn't help either of them. Yeah. So. I, I fancy Millwall. I just think they're just quite a, a little bit about yeah. them. But uh, Blackpool, you'd hope, would go down fighting and throw everything at them. So I think they'd be a good game. Yeah, we've got it on TV. Bristol City, Burnley. Burnley got won the, the league in midweek when they beat Blackburn. A little bit fortunate. Yeah. They should yeah. have conceded a penalty. This could be an upset, Steve. Burnley, they'll still be celebrating. There will be goals in this game. Do you think Bristol City can upset them? I think they can. I think, as you say, Burnley have won the league. They've, they've, you know, they're just going now for, you know, going for goals and points. Yeah. But uh, I just, my Bristol City have, have picked up a, a little bit recently, and I just think that they'll want to test themselves against the champions. It's a bit like when Fulham won the league last year. They, they went to Sheffield United and basically didn't turn up and lost four 0 because they, you know, nothing to play for. So I just have a feeling Bristol City might just be might just catch them on a on a on a day after their celebrations. Yeah. Uh, Coventry surprisingly are fifth. Five to ten at home against Birmingham. Yeah, they should be too strong. It's you know it's a derby. Um, no love lost between them. Okay. Obviously, Coventry played at St Andrews for a while. That's right. Uh, but you know they, they they've come on strong. You know they've got themselves up into that playoff place, and I don't think they'll want to give it up. I think that Coventry should be too strong. All right, should be go goals in the next game, Steve. Hull City, Swansea. But which way do you see it going there? Yeah, well, Swansea have just. I mean, they've got themselves potentially. You know, mathematically, they they could still make a playoff. I don't think they will. Yeah. You know, it's come. I think the season's too ending late, too yeah. soon for them because they are one of the most informed teams. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Swansea could get a result there, and you never know if results go for them. They'll, it, it, you know, they could they could find themselves very close to a playoff place. But I think it's just a little bit eluding them now. Yeah, six wins of the last seven has thrown them in the boil, but uh, hard to see. Desperation at the bottom, Steve Reading, Wigan. Which way do you see it? Yeah. Well, again, I think uh, neither team can afford uh, not to win. You yeah. know, it's uh, if, if a draw doesn't help either of them because they're pretty much both will go down, I think. Uh, so uh, I think this is, again, it should be another open game. I think Reading should start as favourites. You know, they, they're, the, they're the ones of the two that 
got a better chance of staying up if they win. But uh, you know, Sean Maloney has given you know Wigan a little fans a little bit of something to cheer cheer about in in recent games. But yeah. uh, I just think maybe you know you think Paul Ince has got to get them. Sorry, the the, the the person there has got to get them fired up now because um, you know otherwise they lose this and they are down. Yeah, I haven't won in seven, so hard to see those six points yeah. that they lost come back to haunt yeah, them. Yeah, I mean that was yeah. Yeah. My Preston boys, I watched them last week. We don't deserve to be in the playoffs. Blackburn were the better team against us, and we got a poxy equaliser. But we travelled to Sheffield United, who obviously got promoted last night, and we're celebrating. Can't blame them. Can my boys cause an upset, Steve? Well, I suppose they could, but you know, as you say, they've gone right. I mean, they were they were in a good position a few games ago, Preston, but they yeah. completely uh, they sort of imploded. When the pressure got to them, it just yeah. you know been found wanting. I, I think Sheffield United will probably go on and, and win this because you know they're on a high, but you know Preston can make themselves hard to beat. So a draw is not you know a, a, you know a, an impossible result, but I think Sheffield United will probably start as favourites. Yeah, Stoke QPR, two teams I just can't catch. Big game for QPR, though. Well, I mean, QPR. You know, everyone thought a couple of games ago they were they were they were going, and here they are. You know, they got a fighting point at home, and then they go and win at Burnley. Burnley you know, evidently yeah. they, they 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 held on desperate, but you know that was a great result, and I think that they'll go to Stoke knowing that any type of result will probably be enough to keep them up. Uh, Stoke have disappointed. They were had they had a good run a few weeks ago, yeah. and they wow. just uh, nothing. They sort of just faded away. I think that they'll start as favourites. You know, it's their last home game. They want to put a show on for their you know for their fans, and I think. Stoke will win, but I think you know QPR are probably going to be safe now because I'm not sure the teams below them will get enough points to catch them. Yeah, that's true. Sunderland, Watford, Sunderland, six position, big game, and their last game's yeah. at Preston the uh, next weekend. Got to win that. Got to win that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Watford, yeah. your brother must it, be hell of a disappointment. Well, Steve. It, yeah, I mean they've had a very disappointing season, and whether Chris Wilder will even be there uh, for next season, who knows? But Sunderland had a huge result last week to yeah. win at uh, West, Brom, West yeah. Brom, and you know I think a lot of people were thinking West Brom would win that and get themselves in the playoffs, and then Sunderland have taken that that position. I think you know in front of a huge expecting sort of forty thousand plus uh, at the Stadium of Light, I think Sunderland will win that. Yeah, me too. Uh, West Brom, Norwich, another team, Norwich that. Uh, have just fallen yeah. away, one win and eight. But away from home, their form yeah, isn't bad. Yes, but disappointing for both of them because I don't think either of them will make the playoffs now. Yeah. And a draw uh, wouldn't, would, you know, again, that both of them are going to go for it because if they, they both got a, an outside chance. Uh, West Brom a little bit more so, I think. But I, I think they'll probably end up cancelling each other out and then uh, need uh, both be playing each other in the championship next season. Okay, well, we'll get the next slide up now. Yeah, well, next, uh, Cardiff City next versus slide. Yeah. Uh, Huddersfield just come up now. Steve, 28 to 10 is my value better the weekend. He's done a good <laughs> yeah, job. Me too. You know, I said yours as yeah. well. Okay. You know, it was yeah. 8 to 10 win and draw Huddersfield. I don't see them losing at Cardiff. You obviously agree with well, me. It, yeah. yeah, well, look, I mean, is it, Neil Warnock, you know, has, has got them, you know, to, to the point where they, they can stay up. Yeah. With a win, Cardiff play Rotherham during the week, so Cardiff have got like a second bite of the cherry here a little bit. I think Huddersfield can get a result there, uh, but I think Cardiff could get a result against Rotherham in, yeah, in a few so days, in a few yeah. days' time. So you know they both got an opportunity. If Cardiff win this, then I think they they'll be pretty safe. Uh, you know, but uh, no, and then Huddersfield play Reading next week, so you know they're all playing each other at the bottom. So you know, I think Neil Warnock. Has got them playing relatively, you know, quite well. So I think they'll go. They'll go there as favourites. Yeah, they've only lost one. That was one 0 at Swansea. So the tar fancy yeah. them. Uh, rather than Middlesbrough. Now I watched Middlesbrough the other night at Luton. He made six or seven changes. Carrick. He kept his main boy Akpom off. He's going to do the same. So it yeah. wouldn't surprise me if Rotherham caused an upset. But uh, I saw eleven to ten over two and a half goals. That's my play here, Steve. How do you see it? Yeah, I'm a little bit right because I suppose at the end of the day, you know, he might he thinks well, Borough are in the playoffs. You know, they can't get automatic, but they were playing for third place, and yeah. third place means you play sixth place. So uh, I was surprised that he, he really, you know, and whether he's going to do that again because I don't think they'll catch Luton now. No. So you know, having said that, you don't want to keep resting your best players because yeah. resting them once, but you rest them again, all of a sudden, you know, Akpom's thinking, well, hold on. I haven't played for a couple of weeks. Yeah. 
it's uh, you know you want to keep your, your your players sort of finely tuned. You know, they're Paul knows you know a good racehorse. You don't want to say, well, you're not going to go out on the gallops for two weeks. Yeah. You you got to keep keep think, keep all the bits moving. So uh, I I would be disappointed if we played a weakened team. And obviously, great for Rotherham if he does because Rotherham gets something out of it and they'll yeah. be pretty safe as well. So you know, if he plays a strong team, I think they'll win. But otherwise, you know, Rotherham at home are not an easy team to beat. Yeah. So it could be a draw, could be a draw. Yeah, I just, you know, he's, he's rotating his players. And I think the same with Blackburn against Luton. Luton are going to rotate. Yeah. They're in the playoffs. So why risk injury? Yeah. Rather give the squad players a game. You know, they've yeah. obviously guys, 46 games, a lot of aches and pains. And 16 to 10 Blackburn, I'm all over that, Steve. It's my bet of the weekend. They were unlucky against Burnley. They should have beat Preston. This is a must-win yeah. game for them. So they'll have my money. Yeah. You know? Yeah, very much, very much a must-win game. As to say, they dropped points when they, yeah. you know, they put, they could have got four points, and they ended up with one. So yeah. uh, I think you're right. You know, Luton have have, have got that uh, playoff place completely sewn up. Uh, he may well rest. You know, it's interesting that last couple of years their main striker has been Adebayo, and this year it's been Carl Morris who's come in and scored twenty goals. So he might, uh, you know, swap them around. You know, he's got he hasn't got a big squad to play yeah. with. Um, Rob Edwards, but uh, you know, I think he'll, as you say, I think I wouldn't be surprised if he rotates one or two. Yeah. And and Blackburn will probably do start as favourites. Yeah, I fancy the big time. Uh, if it was me and I as a manager, I would rest them and play them more than the last game of the season. That would be my idea to get ready for yeah. the playoffs. Steve, uh, pressure time again, please. I need your yeah. best bet and value bet. <laughs> Not I'm that I don't. For some, Sunderland, Sunderland is my best bet. Oh. I think you know, roared on by a, a full house. They got goals in them. I think that uh, they'll be a little bit too strong for Watford. And my value bet, just coincidence, obviously, is same as you. Yeah. I just think, I, I just think it's you know, they're, they're pretty generous odds, twenty-eight to ten. And uh, Neil Warnock, you know, he doesn't get relegated very often. I think this, yeah. is, uh, I think he'll get something there definitely. All right, Steve. Thank Thanks very, very much. much, Stevie. Thank stay you well. Speak stay to you well, soon. Stevie. Cheers. All the best. Cheers, Paul. Bye. Bye. Right, let's go PSL. Bunch. Yeah, Paul. Sundown's beat Richards. Yeah, Bay. I watched they it was uh, lunchtime. Paul, he made eight changes. You know, they won in the CAF Championship. I watched a little bit of. It. I didn't know it was on. They won four one. I think it was in Algeria. They're a good team, Sundowns. Yeah, Paul. very good. You know, but uh, you know, the CAF Championship. That's that's or Champions League. That's their main mission. The league games. He's just rotating. You can't play him. All the youngsters giving them a chance. Uh, there's, but uh, uh, comfortable there's, there's victory. There's games yeah. tonight. Uh, yeah, there Chipper are. host Kaisers. Oof, big game. Swallows Marisburg. Oh, even bigger. Even bigger. So they're oh, they're two really at the bottom, struggling. Yeah. Two at the bottom. And those are tonight. What time will they kick off? Eight uh, o'clock? Or? Paul, no. They'll be... Uh, oof, I don't know. I think it'll be about half past seven. Okay. So Let's look at the fixtures coming yeah, up. Yeah, Paul. Uh, we've got... Uh, there's, there's four Saturday, Sunday. And we've added the Chiefs game. That's on Monday. Okay. Chiefs play Swallows as well. Yeah. First game should be a good game, Paul. Royal AM against Cape Town City. Royal AM don't get beat at Chatsworth too often. But uh, Cape Town City, that's Eric Tinkler's team. They've only lost one in the last seven. That was to Pirates. They lost 2-1 mm. last weekend. Be a good so game. Big goals, Paul. Be a good game. But uh, of the two teams, you know, that said Royal AM at uh, Chatsworth, hard to beat. Stellenbosch, I think, are good things, Paul. Steve's done a great job with them. They beat Sundowns in the Cup quarterfinal. Yeah. They won last week. Golden Arrows, I can't catch them, Paul. They beat Chiefs. Woeful at home, but they score goals, arrows. But for me, Stellenbosch, good things. Amazulu, Sekakuna. Amazulu have only won one game. They're a long way down from when uh, Benny was Benny there. Was no, well, there. they fired him and they thought they'd bring another genius. And the guy we met at the yeah, airport, but is he still there? he's got moved upstairs. So they've got, uh, I don't know, they've got another local guy taking the team. But there's trouble in the camp there, Paul. Yeah, no, Sekakuna have is. done well. I yeah. can't believe they're, they're in the top eight, unbeaten in four. So Sekakuna, Paul, that could go any way. If I was yeah. having a bet, I'd take the draw at 0-0. Yeah. I have a couple of rand on that, but the correct score betting wasn't out. So the draw for me is the player. TS Galaxy and, and, and Pirates will be goals in this, Paul. TS Galaxy always have a go. Pirates but Pirates are, are going well. They've yeah, only lost two side. games. Sundowns and Chiefs, they shouldn't have lost to Chiefs. But uh, six to ten is short, Paul. Yeah, and Monday yeah. I make Chiefs good things, Paul. I've watched yeah, Swallows. Yeah. You know, Chiefs are in the semi-final of the cup. They play Pirates. So youngsters are all trying 20, to get into the game. 22 so. to 10, the double. Orlando Pirates and Chiefs to yeah, win. Should be, Paul. I fancied uh, Stellenbosch, which was 7 to 2. Stellenbosch and go. Chiefs. Okay, but tell me about your bets. Yeah, uh, Paul, we did the, the GC pool. Now, GC pools are on Sunday. The better games on Sunday than Saturday. So the first soccer six is a Saturday one. I'm bankering Mamelodi Sundowns and the CAF Champions League. They're 4-1 up. 
but I don't see them taking any chances against Algeria. C.R. Belui's dad. I've gone the field in the Royal AM Cape Town City game. I'm bankering Stellenbosch to beat Golden Arrows. The field in the Amazulu Sekakuna United game, as well as Roger Casablanca Al Akli game. And I'm bankering Barcelona, like even though they've got. Yeah, yeah, they're rotating. I don't know why they're doing it. The league's okay. not over yet. I bankered Barca to beat Real Betis. The right. Saturday Soccer 13. I'm going uh, so Brentford. Is there no Saturday Soccer 6? Uh, no, our, our G, that was the first one was RGC pulls okay. a Sundays. Okay, Because there's more, sorry. Better, the better okay, games. Okay, got you. So the Soccer 13, I'm bankering Brentford to beat Notts Forest, Brighton to beat Wolves, Coventry win and draw against Birmingham City, Swansea City to avoid defeat at Hull City. I've thrown the draw in with Sheffield United at home against Preston North End. I don't see Burnley losing at Bristol City. Sunderland, banker to beat Watford. Onto our second page, I'm bankering West Brom to beat Norwich. Stoke City win and draw at home against QPR. Reading win and draw at home against Wigan. And banking Holmstead to beat Bromma Pajkana. Hacken to beat IFK Bonama, the two Swedish games. And Roma win and draw at home against AC Milan in the big game, 256. Right. Onto our score six, I'm going Celtic in the Scottish semi final at played at Hamden, win and draw against Rangers. The field in the Bournemouth versus Leeds United game. Man United win and draw at home against Aston Villa. Newcastle to beat Southampton. Liverpool to beat Tottenham in the field in the AX Amsterdam. PSV Eindhoven match, 2-1-6. And our score 10 for the weekend. I'm going Rain uh, Celtic win and draw against Rangers. The field in the Bournemouth Leeds United game. Man City to beat Fulham. Man United win and draw at home against Aston Villa, and Newcastle United should be too good at home against Southampton. Onto our second page, I'm going Villarreal win and draw at home against Celta de Vigo, banking Liverpool to beat Tottenham, the field in the AX Amsterdam PSV at Eindhoven fixture. I don't see Juventus losing at Bologna and Atletico Madrid. Should be too good at Real Valladolid, 288. Budgie's bets. On to our bets, Paul. I'm going Man City to beat Fulham and both teams to score, yes. I think Fulham okay. will, I mean, City uh -huh. will take the foot off the break like they did against Leicester. I'm going Newcastle United to win and both teams to score, yes. Southampton will give them danger. Those youngsters up front will give that yeah. back four, yeah. even though they should get beat. And over two and a half goals, both teams to score, yes. I think Arsenal and Chelsea, this will be a free for all, Paul. They're both gone. 4,200 to 200. Yeah. This is the chance of one, Paul. I'm going Man City to score over two and a half goals at 12 to 10. I think that's a gimme. I think Bournemouth and Chelsea is my concern, but I took a chance or a big price to score over one and a half goals. Chelsea against Arsenal. Yeah, and uh, Southampton just to score against Newcastle, 5,800 to 200. Jeez, that was a see. great price, Paul. We've got to great take a price, chance. Difficult. Yeah. Uh, onto the championship, I'm going Blackburn Rovers to beat Luton Town. I'm going over two and a half goals in Bristol City, Burnley, and Rotherham versus Middlesbrough games. And I'm going Huddersfield Town, handicap plus one. So that's win or draw, Huddersfield. 3,200 to 200. Both teams to score sides. I'm going Sheffield United, Preston. Stoke City, QPR. Reading, Wigan, and Rotherham, Middlesbrough. 2,400 to 200. On to the PSL. I'm going Stellenbosch to beat Golden Arrows. Kaiser Chiefs to beat Swallows on Sunday. And both teams to score Royal AM Cape Town City and TS Galaxy Orlando Pirates, 2,500 to 200. Right, six on King. King. Six on X. So Paul, I'm going Man City to beat Fulham. Blackburn to beat Luton. Atletico Madrid to beat Real Valladolid. Sevilla to beat Girona. Napoli to win the league at home against Salernitana. And Sassuolo to beat Empoli, 4,300 to 200. Right, budget it sounds very good. So, very interesting football coming up. Very oh, yeah. interesting last one standings. We've got to watch tonight. This yeah. local football tonight. No, it's all on the buzz, Paul. It's all on the, the buzz, yeah. A couple of weeks left. Okay. Until next time, stay on side.